In an X, you can not only visualize interactively your project graph, but now also your task graph. Let's have a look. So one of the most loved features, probably because it's a visual feature in an X, is the dynamic visualization of the project graph. So right now, what you can do in an X is run npx nx graph. And this opens up a browser window where you can actually visualize all of your projects in your workspace. And the cool part here is this is fully interactive. So meaning you can go, for instance, to the shop application, focus on that. So you see just the relationships of that single project. And from there, you can dynamically expand and in understand how those relationships between these projects exist by even clicking on the edges. But this is not the only graph that exists in a workspace. There is also the so-called task pipeline. So if you look at the NX JSON, this is where we define the task pipeline in NX, in this target defaults property. And so here, for instance, you can see there is the build task where we define that whenever we run this build task, it should also run the build on all its dependent projects. So meaning that if we have our shop application that depends on other sub applications or libraries, those should be built first and then our shop application should be built. So this results in a graph between different tasks. So starting with NX 15.3, the graph visualization now has a new dropdown which allows you to switch from the projects to the tasks. And so if I now click on that show all tasks, you see the representation of the previously shown task pipeline that represented our build step. So here you can see that whenever we run the shop build, it will first run the builds of its dependent projects, which is exactly what we have specified with this type of relationship. Now, I assume I go ahead and go to my shop project JSON and I add another step in here. So what you often have is something called like a pre-build step where you prepare your actual build. And so I can just run here a command, let's say preparing build. And now I can go in my NX JSON and also define such a relationship because obviously what I want is that whenever I run the build of this project, I want to first make sure the pre-build of this project is being triggered. So let's go back to our project graph, refresh here, show all tasks again. And now you can see there's also this pre-build step. It gets even better in terms of the visualization if I group by project because now I can clearly see that the shop application has a build production which first runs that pre-build step and then it will also run all the different builds of its dependent projects. And what's even more interesting here is this is just as the project graph fully interactive. So I can go here and look at this, this graph and click on these nodes to understand what plugin and the executor behind the scenes run these specific tasks. Here you can see this is like coming from the novel Angular package and using Webpack browser ex executor, while this pre-built here, for instance, uses the NX run commands to run just a custom script. So I hope you really like this feature just as much as you like our project visualization. Let us know in the comments what you think about it. As always, like and subscribe to not miss any upcoming videos and I'll catch you all in the next one.